Uh, look at me, I'm a nerd, I wanna learn web development. Let's master the DOM in five minutes. Well guys, welcome to the world of fast-paced web development, where understanding the document object model is crucial for manipulating and interacting with web pages. <laughs> so guys, picture yourself as a web, as a web master, about to unlock the secrets of the DOM, a representation of your web page that can be altered with JavaScript that you can see right here, guys. <clears throat> Imagine a tree where each branch is an element, each leaf is a node. This is your web page's structure in the DOM. You begin by selecting by selecting elements. The basic step with document.curry selector or and you can also use document.get element by ID, like we see here. In these two. You can pinpoint any elements, guys just give it an ID in the HTML and you can literally just pinpoint it in, in your JavaScript. And it's basically like having a map to navigate the complex web page structure. Now you are at the heart of the action, guys, literally. You are at the heart of controlling the user interaction. You have selected elements and it's time to manipulate them. Want to change text? You can basically say element that text content is your tool. Need to alter styles? We will basically say uh, element dot style and it becomes your paintbrush adding or removing elements we'll say append child and or and or remove child and your and they're basically your construction and demolition tools to put it uh, quite easy um to put it quite simple uh, your web page transforms before your eyes bending bending to your wall why why did i even write this script like this <laughs> all right with the page elements dancing to your tune, you introduce events, clicks, hovers, key presses, each an opportunity to make your web page interactive. Add event listener is the key, unlocking responsive dynamic user experiences. <coughs> user experience. Your web page is no long will no longer be static, guys. It is a dynamic entity reacting to your every user interaction. As your five minute journey concludes, you will step back admiring a web page that's alive with the interaction and style all manipulated through the DOM. You have mastered the art of DOM manipulation, turning a static web page into an interactive experience, guys. The DOM is no longer a mystery, but a powerful ally in your web development arsenal. You are welcome. So let's take a look at what we have here, guys. We have select select elements using query selector and get element by ID. So we basically say const, call it heading, and whatever we get is the first heading. Is uh, this is the first h h1 element? Then you can also use that uh, get get element by ID, and you will say special paragraph get element by ID special paragraph get save that HTML um, ID in this JS variable. And to manipulate these, to manipulate these uh, variables or these elements that we have collected in JavaScript, we will say manipulate elements changing text content. Then you can say heading that text content change it to this. Altering styles, we will say special paragraph. Also the styles of blue to 18 pixels. Add a new element. You can do that by saying new paragraph dot append child, and then we will add another paragraph to this. So you can basically add text. Or lines of text removing an element we will say um, element dot remove child and you will remove the old element adding event listeners if we click on something we can say alert you click the heading if we ever click on the heading so we will have to collect the select pinpoint the heading and say add event at event listener if somebody clicks on the text um, special paragraph again Add event listener, mouse over, we will say it and it will become green. So that is our hover effect. And adding a key, key press event to the whole document basically lets us uh, say that a key has been pressed and it can be any key from here. That's basically it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you in the next one, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. This is it. This is literally it, guys. This is it. This is the ebook that I've been working on. It's called 3JS Essentials.